I want to show you how to add data to a table. So once you've created a table and created the fields, you really need to put some data into that table, insert some data. So I want to show you how to use this particular tool to add data to a table. So I'm, uh, you could just click right on the database that the table is in over here, or you could click databases up here. So the table that I'm going to put data in is in my inventory database. So I'm going to click that. Here are the two tables. So whichever one you want to add data to, I'm going to add data to the computers table. And then this is where this interface is a little weird and uh, why you might want to use a different interface. But if you're using this one to add data to this computers table, you need to hit this insert tab up here. So here are the fields, serial number, brand name, etc. This That's where you need to type these things over here. Okay. So uh, serial number, I'll just put something random in there. Brand name. You may not get a drop down like this, but uh, if you do, you can use that. Otherwise, you can type it in manually. I'll put in a price. And round amount. You can fill all the fields in or not. So sometimes, let's say this was a customer table and you didn't know the customer's email address yet. So typically you'd like to fill all these fields in, but you may or may not. So once you've got the data in there, you can hit this go button. It's kind of strange, but that's how you enter data with this tool. That's just one uh, thing. So if we want to add more, we would just do insert again to add another record in there. So if I want to add another one in there, hit go, and that's it. That's how you add data to a table. Now, if you want to see the data in the table, go back to the Browse tab. Now this table isn't empty. Now it has two records in it. First record has uh, serial number whatever by Apple. Second record has this one. And as you add more and more data using that insert, uh, you can go back to the browse and see all the data in the table or possibly even delete a record if you had to or edit it or what have you. Um, while I've got that, I might as well show you how to edit it. So suppose we wanted to add a RAM amount in hard drive to this. We could click edit to that particular record and take us back to that similar looking thing. And then we could add some more stuff or change something or whatever we needed to do to that particular record. Hit go again. So that shows you how to add data and also edit, delete it, what have you.